Speaker, the Honourable uh, Mr Hill. I'd like to address the Honourable Stephen Conroy, Member for the Federal Parliament and Minister for Broadband Communication and the Digital Economy. Um, Stephen Conroy, for those of you who aren't aware, plans to introduce a filter for the internet. I'm concerned that this issue isn't being discussed by the public, especially with an election around the corner. I feel it is my duty to contribute to the discussion. Firstly, I'd like to bring up the point that it is too ineffective. Children circumvented this filter within a matter of minutes, and I'd like to ask him, is he saying that pedophiles that he wishes to prote um, um, protect children from won't um, have the ability to get around the filter? Secondly, it will be too costly. It will cost all, um, all of us, both in taxpayers' money and, more importantly, threatens our rights. Thirdly, it, blocks, uh, it will block um, and has blocked uh, material relevant to public and political debates such as euthanasia and the ethics and morals of abortions, as well as future issues. Um, in summary, it is too ineffective and it will not um, stop a single pedophile. It is too costly and it will block material relevant to political debate. As well as this, it enjoys absolutely no public support. Since I've been aware of Stephen Conroy's intentions and the overwhelming disapproval from the public, internet service providers, organisations like Electronic Frontiers Australia and expressions of concern from Google and international delegates, my faith in the government to be truly great and truly representative has been shattered. As we build toward an election, this issue has been swept away and forgotten. They think it's not an election issue, but I stand here to make it an issue. If the government does not withdraw this policy, they've lost my vote.